the peace of Christ be with you. Look for his light. It will never be overcome. He is waiting for you to seek his light and longing to shine it upon your way. This week's meditations will be a variety of thoughts on prayer. The first scripture is from a letter to the Colossians, chapter 1, verse 9. Prayers lifted up by the one who wrote that letter to the church in Colossus. We haven't stopped praying for you and asking for you to be filled with the knowledge of God's will, with all wisdom and spiritual understanding. This is the word of the Lord. And here are my thoughts. When I write these meditations, I have no idea who will read them and what effect they might or might not have. I hope they will give the listeners something to think about and perhaps brighten their day a bit, but I don't know. Still, I'd like you to be aware that starting these with a, a prayerful greeting and ending with a blessing is very intentional. In a sense, prayer is woven through the entire meditation. In the background is a humble prayer of my own, that these words may be a blessing in some way to, to someone, somehow. But mostly, they're a prayer for you, tossed out on the internet, for your own journey toward knowledge of God's will with all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Since I don't know you personally, these prayers are only seeds scattered recklessly online. I know nothing of the soil on which they land, but that's okay. My part is simply to write the words, record them, and post them on the internet. Correction. My part is also to know or trust that you are there and that you are loved by God, precious in the sight of the Lord. And to remember that you deserve my well wishes and my prayers, absolutely. That we may know nothing at all about each other is irrelevant. So, my stranger, my friend, if you ever feel a need for someone's prayers, know they're already there. You have someone at this end of the internet who is praying for you. Not by name, because I don't know that. But you are known by God, personally and completely. So I can simply place you in God's hands without even knowing your name and know that the one who created you and knows you will hold you tenderly in the best and most loving of hands. So be it. Today's quote is actually from an old hymn named, Let the Lower Lights Be Burning. It opens with these words, Brightly beams our Father's mercy from his lighthouse evermore, but to us he gives the keeping of the lights along the shore. With this week's focus on prayer, I thought I'd leave you each day with an old Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, or until we meet, may God hold you in the palm of those loving hands. Amen.